NRG Oncology Retog 9006, a Phase 3 randomized trial of hyperfractionated radiotherapy, RT, and BCNU versus standard RT and BCNU for malignant glioma patients. Via Neuro Oncology Abstract from 1990 to 1994, patients with newly diagnosed malignant gliomas were enrolled and randomized between hyperfractionated radiation HFX, of 72.0 grays in 60 fractions given twice daily and 60.0 grays in 30 fractions given once daily. All patients received 80 mg slash M2 of 1,3 bis 2 chloroethyl minus 1 nitrous aurea on days 1 to 3 Q8 weeks for one year. Patients were stratified by age, KPS, and histology. The primary endpoint was overall survival, OS, with secondary endpoints including progression free survival, PFS, and toxicity. Out of the 712 patients accrued, 694, 97.5%, were analyzable cases, 350 HFX, 344 standard arm. There was no significant difference between the arms on overall acute or late treatment related toxicity. No statistically significant effect for HFX, as compared to standard therapy, was found on either OS, with a median survival time, MST of 11.3 versus 13.1 months, P equals 0.20, or PFS, with a median PFS time of 5.7 versus 6.9 months, P equals 0.18. The treatment effect on OS remained insignificant based on the multivariate analysis, hazard ratio 1.16, P equals 0.0682. When OS was analyzed by histology subgroup there was also no significant difference between the two arms for patients with glioblastoma multiform, MST, 10.3 versus 11.2 months, P equals 0.34, anaplastic astrocytoma, MST, 69.8 versus 50.0 months, P equals 0.91, or anaplastic oligodendroglioma, MST, 92.1 versus 66.5 months, P equals 0.33. Though this trial provided many invaluable secondary analyses, there was no trend or indication of a benefit to HFX radiation to 72.0 grays in any subset of malignant glioma patients.